Jim, let's talk about the housing stocks. We've right. owned Black & Decker for a while. We started to add to Home Depot last week. We were discussing which ones we which one we liked better this morning. And um, well, I yeah. mean, I, I think that the idea that we could be getting a housing bottom is so evident now mm -hmm. with the with the 70% uh, increase year over year in mortgage applications, with a dramatic decline in existing inventory. So it's really imperative to own some housing. Uh, I like Home Depot because the dividend is very safe. Mm -hmm. Guys, a lot of coverage. Uh, and and I also because it's it's easy comparisons within itself because of how poorly run it was. Right. Uh, you know we we've debated this for a while. We knew when it yield oh, when it was over four percent yield, we thought Home Depot was very attractive. Right. Um, it got away from us. We 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 bought the Black and Decker. Right. Um, and that has been weak. They obviously are having some issues overseas and with the, with right. the dollar and whatnot. But. At this point, you know, we are looking to get more aggressive on Home Depot. I think more importantly, we, we expect the housing bottom, but also they're doing things internally. Right. That really is helping the story. They were very mismanaged for many years. Right. And Nardelli. Right. I mean, he's now a Chrysler. I don't think he's distinguished himself there either, but somehow he's been getting the free pass. Sure, he sure has. So now you have new management in, and right. they are streamlining the company, mm -hmm. and they're closing the underperforming stores and exiting F Expo, and right. they're doing all kinds of things. I was impressed by the cash generation, right. three and a half billion last year as well. So this is a story that we want to get. We want to make it bigger. We right. don't want to be greedy though and be. We know no. it's up. I mean, I mean, one of the things we've been doing correctly is we, we take a small position first yeah. and then wait for the market to come down for us, and we just keep waiting. So like we didn't uh, jump at, at at what I regard as being the you know a six percent increase in the S and P. Right. We put a little on as a placeholder. This is something I did repeatedly as a hedge fund manager to keep an eye on it. And then as it comes in, we buy, which has been a totally right philosophy and why we're outperforming substantially over other people. Right, and we debated Lowe's, right. but, which has more growth. Right. But they also, they don't have the internal execution. Lowe's was doing, Lowe's was executing well last year. Yeah. Um, and so was, uh, and Home Depot wasn't. Yeah. Also, Home Depot has more exposure to uh, Southern California which is the area that's snapping back very quickly because uh, houses drop 40 to 50 percent. And once you buy a house, you go to Home Depot. Yeah. It's just plain and simple. And one other thing, they have international growth opportunities right. too. They had positive comps in China right. in their last quarter. They had positive comps in Canada. They had double-digit comps in Mexico. Oh. So there, when people say that Lowe's has more growth than Home Depot, that's true. But there are growth opportunities for this company. Right, the gross margin is going to improve in Home Depot. And it's a great way, if you believe, as we do, that a housing bottom occurs in the next, say, six months. It's the place. Just have to be buying carefully. Yep.